permaculture world. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 313. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 313, March 24th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to build self replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability by bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and creating all the open source and free shared foundations necessary to construct and replicate these sustainable teacher demonstration hubs by and making them self-replicating by making them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating them as attractive enough to spread on their own. And so this is what we're doing. And what you see happening in the background of the video here is our work, the last nine years of our work working towards this goal and creating all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to build everything that you see happening here, starting with the city center and Earthbag Village. And today what I want to talk about is creating a permaculture world. Because really a big part of what one community is doing, or one of the foundations of what one community is doing, is creating a way for people to be the conscious and conscientious stewards that we are capable of and creating a permaculture wor world off of that foundation. And what I mean by that is if you're not familiar with permaculture, it's really studying nature's systems and looking at how we can replicate those systems, learn from those systems, and create thriving holistic ecosystems using nature's principles and the intelligence and ingenuity of humanity. And so it covers all aspects of food and housing and energy, and we're adding to that highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And our goal, as I said at the beginning, is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate all this as attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own. And because we're creating with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet, the foundations, everything that we're building and designing, are meant to be project launch blueprint starting points, like blueprints that will start other projects and evolve into things even more amazing than what it is that we're creating. And so by building one community as the first, we see this as a path to a permaculture world by creating a way for people to meet their own needs, to meet the needs of their families, while simultaneously contributing something of real value to the entire planet. And if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough and demonstrates attractive enough that it will spread its own, we have the potential to create a sustainable world for arguably the first time since the Industrial Revolution and possibly for the first time in human history, but you know, it was sustainable before we really started doing what we've been doing to it for quite some time now. So the idea is that if we can create a way for people to meet their needs better than the way they're living right now and simultaneously meet the needs of our planet, a holistic, a regenerative, a sustainable way of living, we think that that is really the most noble goal and adventure and venture that we can commit our time to. And so I've been donating my time and volunteering full time now for nine years to this project and planning and thinking about it, talking about it for 15 years before that. Our entire team is an all volunteer team, 100% volunteer team. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. And we're creating this because we want to live this way, because we believe in a sustainable planet, because we believe that we can create a world that truly meets the needs of everyone. A world that works for everybody, not just the chosen few, not just some, and open source and free shared blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources to keep evolving that, to meet the greatest challenges of this generation and for generations to come, to solve global poverty, to solve global hunger, to, uh, to, to solve the foundations that are leading to global conflict and war, to address uh, poverty and injustice, social injustice, to address education. We think that we can bring together people that are focused on the highest good of all and create a think tank, a permanent think tank, to solve these problems, to work on these problems, and to continuously work towards a permaculture world that addresses all of them simultaneously, that integrates humanity into the ecosystem as a functional unit and a conscious and conscientious steward 
making it better, making it thrive. We have the ability to green deserts. We have the ability to clean up the oceans. We have the ability to build sustainably, to eat sustainably, to clean up our air, to clean up our, our water. We can do these things. And so one community is creating an open source foundation for that. We see a permaculture world as not only possible, but really as necessary. If we're truly going to be sustainable, if we are truly going to address the challenges that we're facing right now in a way that is comprehensive enough to last for generations to come, a permaculture world is one way to do that. And so, and we're open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing because we're not saying that we necessarily know what the best way is. And when we say living and creating for the highest good of all people and all life, that doesn't mean that we've identified exactly what the highest good is. It means that we're doing our best to live, to create, to open source, to free share, to sustainably create do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for the permaculture world that we know is possible for a highest good lifestyle that is the best that we can imagine and to invite other people to participate. So this is our idea and our path to creating a permaculture world. And here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished developing the most sustainable urinals page by adding the final two urinals we researched and would recommend. You can see these new additions here. The core team also continued developing the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, primers, stains, and sealers page. This week, we added details for natural wood stains and a DIY Cassian-based primer, both of which you can see here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 40th week helping with Earthbag Village render additions. This week, he continued work on the Earthbag Village master render shown here. The focus this week was replacing open doors with closed ones. Only a few remain to finish this render. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 43rd week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was finishing the final diagrams for installation of lighting from the attic area cutaway sections and updates to the installation details for the wiring. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 154 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was mostly testing various external textures. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her 10th week as a researcher with our team. This week, she performed the initial round of water-saving faucet aerator research for the Most Sustainable Faucet Options page. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open-source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of modeling the new Duplical City Center interior design details for the library. This week, we appropriately located the columns, designed corner tree trunks for the bookshelves, placed another tree bookshelf on the side walls, placed the stone wall shelves, and added pictures with tracking lights above. The core team also continued with week 8 of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the Duplical City Center sprinkler and emergency systems designs, agriculture, gray water processing, and more. This week's focus was testing placement of initial dam designs on the actual property imports from Google Earth, some of which you can see here. The core team additionally continued adding content to the City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week we started the maximizing lead points in the City Center point by point section by creating all the jump to links and initial section formatting and layout shown here. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, continued updating the duplicate City Center costs by doing a final review of the City Center HVAC design costs and updating the City Center lighting costs with all the finalized details from the lighting spreadsheet. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, completed their 13th week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. 
This week's focus was door selection, more detailed painting plans, and creating the third generation storyboards for the social dome. You can see some of this work here. James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his 15th week researching sustainable materials. This week's focus was continued research for the most sustainable adhesives page by researching and writing explanations of the most important chemicals present in traditional adhesives and starting research into the most sustainable adhesive brands. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her sixth week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was more layer updates and aligning and replacing the old domes with the new domes and fixing conflicts resulting from this process. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan. This week, we continued researching and revising our goat care and fencing details and started designing the indoor goat pens under covered storage. The pictures included here are from one of the best goat pen websites we've found and are using for ideas on stronger and configurable goat pens. And the core team continued research and 3D design of the chicken coops needed for 100 chicks. This week, we removed windows, placed shutters, designed a removable floor under the roosters, and placed some of the walls. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his 12th week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. What you see here are the icons created so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 24th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was refactoring the Aquapini, Wallapini, and Tropical Atrium pages, starting research on the most sustainable urinals keywords, and fixing errors in our existing campaigns. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating a permaculture world for the highest good of all life on it and to create a world that truly works for everyone and everything living on it, to be conscious and conscientious stewards. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to help out, you can visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, uh, you can visit us, join us on social media, help us share information on social media, uh, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, help us share this information. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, and about 15 other Twitter. Did I say that one? Yeah, Facebook. I don't know. We have probably 20 different social media networks that we post to every single week. So if you're looking for us, we are probably there. Join us there and uh, help support the movement. 
by sharing our information, liking our posts, commenting on our posts, all that stuff makes a big difference. And uh, if you're somebody that's just watched to the end, hey, thanks. That's a great way to support us as well. Um, if you are uh, somebody that's donated to our project or somebody that's written us an email or commented on any of our, our posts or helped us to evolve what it is that we're doing, we're grateful for that. If you're somebody that just thinks positive thoughts about us, that's a really big help too. Whatever it is that you're helping in whatever way works best for you, we are grateful. So thanks for following our project. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on Keep it on. Oh, one last thing. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter that, newsletter list that way as well. And uh, you'll get one email from us every week just sharing this update. And that's a great way to support us and, and stay abreast of what it is that we're doing as well. Otherwise, follow us on social media, like our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All those things make a big difference. So uh, thanks. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.